Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to modify the title bar in .NET MAUI since this topic is kind of hidden from developers. I did some research on the .NET MAUI GitHub and asked questions to the Microsoft. And finally I received a message on how to modify all of this stuff. This is actually very simple, we need to modify just two things. We need to modify the MAUI program file and app.xaml that is located inside the platforms folder. As you can see, is the example on how window looks without all of the modifications. It uses default window, ashen color, in my case it's purple or pinkish. And um, this ashen color is defined in system setting. So, for example, in if we go to the settings and go to the personalization, and go to the colors, we can change the action color as we like. And as you can see right now, with the modified action color, the title bar looks just fine. But we cannot control that. So we somehow need to modify the color of it and be happy that we modify it because some windows we want to make fully customizable so that our window look perfect. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's close the window and go to the Visual Studio. And already in the MAUI program, we need to go to the MAUI program file, which is located in here, MAUI program.cs. In .NET MAUI, uh, in MAUI program, we need to, inside of the builder, define the lifecycle of it. So to do that, we need to type .configure lifecycle events open brackets and then using lambda expression we need to define events open the semicolons and inside we need also to using events at the window and then we need also define the uh, lambda expression so we will type windows live cycle builder do the same thing uh, and then we need to define a few variables uh, actually no we need but we need uh, we need to also define another thing we need to define windows lifecycle builder on window created then window open everything and then once again in here we can now modify the window so we need to grab a few variables that will help us modify the window we need the handle win rt interop window native get window handle and then we go then we need the id microsoft ui win32 interop get window i get window uh, id from window and then we use handle then we need the app window we we'll also grab it from microsoft ui windowing there are all the windows today so windowing app window get from window ID the ID and now finally we can define the title bar so title bar equals to app window dot title bar and now with that we can see that our title bar has a lot of stuff that we can modify and let's modify the code as we need to so I will define my favorite color to be the gray. So favorite color equals new windows that UI color one parentheses brackets and then inside we need to define our color. So rx byte of 1c and then g to be also 1c and b also to be 1c. Okay, this is looking good. Now we need to 
change the background of our uh, background color of our title bar so it will be favorite color then let's change the title bar button background color which will be our favorite color then let's change the foreground color so what the foreground color will be not the favorite color but will be let's say white so we need to go to just white and to convert it to windows color and then we need to define the inactive color the ground color will be our favorite color title inactive foreground color will be just white then we need to define the foreground color for the button which we did already and we need the animation color so it will be pressed button color will be not favorite color but we will define it the button hover the ground color will be our not favorite color but the hover color I think but no actually let's just make it to the dark gray the there is not much difference of dark gray to windows color again and then copy the same thing so uh, as we can see we defined some some title bar uh, properties and colors and you probably think that it is enough to start and everything will be changed but in reality it is not we need to also define another property that will be extend content in the title bar to be false so that we can see our title bar and there will be still another issue since we didn't modify the update in XAML we can see that yeah our title bar is modified it is default I don't know why it's closed it is default and we have our icon title and the buttons that we did and we are like it but we have this again purple uh, stuff that we don't want to have we need to remove it how and as I remember we need to go to add the XAML file in the Windows so it is empty right now but if we will override it the purple thing should go away so we need to define application inside of here we need to define uh, I don't know why it's not working so Windows, yes application the sources should be like this, let me copy just the code and then let's pretend that it was not me and we just need those two things we need to define the application resources of the app XAML and then we need to override the specific thing MAUI app title bar template when we do this we should see something we should see empty stuff yeah and we do as you can see now the app title bar that was been before is not transparent as you can see it uses <laughs> my default transparent background of Mika style in Windows 11 which is looking kind of, I don't know, sometimes it looks fine but in our case we should remove that because it is depending on our, I think, background I don't remember I don't remember how, how it is modifiable but we cannot leave it alone like this what we can do is to add the grid that will have a background of the same color uh, how it was 1c 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 add the just to be sure the canvas z index to be 1 and then we want to vertical alignment, alignment to make it stretch and we do that and what we will see is that we have another title bar that is already is a gray color but we have but we use a lot of uh, gray in here so it's 
most of 25% of our title bar uh, of our application is title bar, which is not very good. And for that, in MAUI program, we need to remove the extends content of the title bar to true, which is by default the true. So when we do that, we can see that now our title bar doesn't have any icon, any text, which is not very good. And now, with the help of the app the example, we can add new visuals to our title bar. So not only icon and the text, we, for example, can add buttons. Let's see that. So button uh, test, and we should see the button on all of the grid, on all of the, that specific area. Yeah, and we can, and we do see the button. Probably it's clickable, probably it's not, I don't really know. If not, you can try to add is hit testable visible true, just to be sure it is clickable. But I'm not sure if it is like this, but I think so, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we can add buttons and we add and we can add all of the stuff. Now let's add by the default the title and the icon. So for that I will just literally copy and paste the code that I have here and I will put it there. So basically what we do here is that we define the column definitions for our title bar with a width of 32 pixels for the image so that our image should be similar to this Visual Studio icon. Text block itself will be the title of our app, which is Soundscapes, and we will add text streaming to chapter ellipses. So if we are modifying our window, we will still kind of, we will see the, our title, but it will have a three dots like this. It's not looking good, but you see that there is a three dots and our title bar is now the title bar that we like to see. It still requires some features to implement, but now with that you can add um, scripts, you can add more uh, logic to here, you can add menus, you can add whatever you like, and our title, title bar is customizable. The only thing that, that I, add, no, I don't know how to modify is this ash and pinkish color that should be really a problem because now at least we have modifiable title bar which was the topic of the video as you can see we can go around it is clickable it is uh, it, it, it has hotkeys that we like it is resizable it is have the windows um, helpful uh, feature to put our window to the to the specific spot. When we do inactive, it changes our colors, and for some reason, it doesn't change uh, the foreground color, which will change in a second. So let's close it. Go to the again to the up no uh, to the Maui program. And then add somewhere this button inactive color, which should be this, and I hope. It should be the same thing. It should be the the colors of it should be different. Yeah, as you can see, the now it's not purple. Now it's white, as we like. Yeah, you can modify all of the title bar features in here. And I hope really that you enjoy this video. All of the code in here will be in the description, so you can wrap it easily and you can modify as you like. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. See you next time.